Start by laying out all of your parts on a clean surface and pre-oil your bearings. Apply some gear oil to the carrier bearing journals as well. Press on your carrier bearings. You will need some sort of spacer such as a hollowed out carrier bearing to fully seat the bearing on the seal housing side. On the reindeer side, begin with a factory carrier shim thickness when installing the carrier bearing. With the carrier bearings installed, set the zip locker onto a bench with the carrier race and measure the deck height. Do the same with your old carrier. The difference in deck heights will be the shim thickness you use on the seal housing side. Apply a liberal amount of thread locker to your ring gear bolts and install the ring gear. Be sure to flat file both the back side of the ring gear and the carrier deck to remove any burrs. Applying some gear oil to the inside of the ring gear will help with the installation onto the carrier. Once all the ring gear bolts are tightened, check them with a bar style torque wrench for accuracy. Apply gear oil to the O-rings and install them into the seal housing. Make sure they are fully seated to prevent any air leaks. Add the carrier shims using the deck height measurement earlier to the seal housing. Make sure the seal housing is clean prior to installation. The carrier shims go between the seal housing and the carrier rings. Drill and tap a hole into the housing on the seal housing side for the bulkhead fittings. Make sure the location allows for the copper airline to be run in such a way that it does not interfere with the ring gear, carrier, or bearing caps. Install the zip locker into the housing. Make sure you have proper carrier bearing preload. The carrier should not just simply drop into the housing.
Install the carrier caps, making sure that the copper air line does not interfere in any way. Tighten down the carrier caps, starting with the right hand side. Check your backlash and adjust as necessary. Run a pattern on the ring gear and adjust pinion depth shims as necessary. Verify your cap bolts are torqued to proper specification. Carefully bend the copper air line to the hole you drilled and tapped into the housing. Make sure it doesn't interfere with any other components, including the cover. Cut the air line to necessary length. Install the bulkhead fitting into the housing. Be sure to use some Teflon tape on the threads. Do not over torque the fitting. Apply gear oil to the O-ring and install into the bulkhead fitting. Next, install the compression fitting into the bulkhead fitting. Again, do not over tighten. You can now check the system for air leaks. If you are installing the zip locker into a RockJock 60 housing, some machining is required. With the holes in the carrier plug, machine 120 thousandths off the bearing seat on the ring gear side. Next, machine 120 thousandths off the end of the carrier bearing journal on the same side. Using a 120 thousandth spacer on the ring gear side, install the zip locker into the housing. Continue the installation as you would into a standard housing.